Welcome to the FIBA Women's Under-18 African Championship Gold Medal Match. We have a huge match for you today between Egypt and Mali. And if you've been following the African Championships in the Women's Tournament for the last few years, you'll know that these two teams are dominating the continent of Africa and that they have quite a history of matching up against each other. For the last uh, eight times that these teams have matched at an under-18 tournament. Mali have won the last seven of eight games. But here's the clincher. Egypt won the last title two years ago for the under-18 Women's African Championship in Cairo. So I guess you can say this is time for revenge for Mali. But it's also time for Egypt to reclaim their title and to win their first African Championship outside of Egypt. The two times that Egypt have won this under-18 African Championship in the women's tournament, both times have been when the tournament's been played in Egypt, so they're going to look to get their first championship outside their home nation, whereas Mali are going to be coming back to prove why they're, why they're one of the top teams in Africa. Star players to look out for. Number eight from Egypt, Yana, oh, yeah, Correct. <laughs> Yana El Alfi, number eight in the jump ball, and she's up against the contending MVP from Mali, Haidia. So, number 10 from Mali, Haidara, apologies. Both contenders for MVP for this tournament. So, here we go gold medal match underway. Mali wearing the white, and Egypt wearing the red. Turnover. Stolen by Salman Habiba, number five for Egypt, now controlling the tempo for the Egypt's first offensive possession. Salman at the top looking for El Alfi straight away. Fancy footwork, great double team on the inside. Three ball opens the account for Egypt. Confident way to start this gold medal match.
Really great to see the Malagasy still packing out this crowd for this gold medal match despite Madagascar just going down in this third and fourth place game to Angola. And apologies, hopefully we will get the live screen up on the sorry, the live score up on the screen as soon as possible. There we go. Mali 2, Egypt 5. And sometimes our, yep, there we go. Sometimes our shot clock on our screen is incorrect. So if you need to look at the accurate shot clock, there is a shot clock at the above of each basket with the bright red neon numbers. Hello to everyone in the live chat on the YouTube stream. Lots of fans from Mali. Hello to all the Mali fans. Hello to some of the Egyptian fans as well in the live chat. We'd love to know where you are watching from today. Three ball attempt again for Egypt. That's from the front of the room. El Alfie is all over it. Hidara just couldn't get a handle. And Alfie with the El Alfie with the putback, showing why she's so dominant under the ring. Oh, a very nice reply from the short corner from Marley. Number 12, Sissé. We need to keep an eye on her under the basket. Sissé is the dark horse under there for the rebounds. Some more Egyptian fans, fans popping up in our live chat. Hello to all the Egyptian fans. El Alfie again with the step through and one. No, doesn't get it to, does she get it to drop? It's just a little bit tricky to see. I think Sissy there committing the foul. So while our scoreboard is adjusting, I recommend heading to the official tournament website at fever.basketball slash Africa slash U18 women, where you can see all the box scores and the live stats and the play-by-play. -play. El Alfie makes the two from the charity line with ease, putting up Egypt nine points to Mali's four. Zani with a triple attempt early, no good. Sissy doing her best to find the offensive rebounds, but there's just too many red shirts. Not a bad look inside for Habiba. But it's Mali now with the, oh, with a fumble. Uncharacteristic fumble from Sanu. Speed a little bit too quick for her hands, perhaps. This time it looks like it's, I think it's Tinu that's going to the line. Oh, it's Drame, number six, Drame. Oh, first one just off the front of the rim. And misses the second. Fast break layup, Sanu. This time she makes it. Not making the same fumble mistake twice. Three-ball attempt, short. Salomon is there for the O-boards. Goes for the hook, but she's fouled. I don't think Sissy agrees with that. Sounds like a lot of fans for Egypt have turned up today in Madagascar to watch this gold medal match, which is great to see. Creating quite an awesome atmosphere for this gold medal match. Oh, this time it's Marley's turn for the free throw line. Dabu, number two, wearing Kimite on the back of her jersey.
Got some people watching from Cairo in the live chat. Also got so or someone watching from the moon. That's great. I hope the re internet reception is good from the moon. I, I imagine the signal might get a little bit dodgy when you're traveling that far. And I'm commentating all the way from Australia and look, I'm hoping that my signal stays as strong as it has been for the last couple of days. Nice shot, bacon drive, good dish. I think it's a traveling violation, unfortunately, for Salman. Not a bad look though from Egypt. Oh, beautiful baseline drive, but just misses. I don't think they were expecting it to be as open as it was. Great on-ball defense, Sanu and Habiba. What a great matchup. She's going to settle for the three ball, and that's short. Oh, Sanu with a heavy block by Salman. Each of her coming now in the transition. Habiba's wide open for a three. She uses not to take it this time. Salman now with a pick and row with Radwan. And that strips. Ooh, and a late foul call. We've got some friends from China tuning in. Hello, friends from China. Some more Egyptian fans in the live chat. I think we've got some fans for number 11 on Mali birthday as well. I, I hope that's the case. It's great if we can have some family and friends with these athletes. Oh, beautiful pump fake! Hidara, now she has arrived to this gold medal match. That's what we want. She's been quiet the first five minutes, but now she's definitely established herself in this game. Time to level up the scores with this three-point play, Hidara. Let's go. Oh, a shot. Right on, step back three. Oh, boys for Egypt. Can't get a handle. Rame calling for a little bit of calm. Back to Sanu. Asking for the pick and roll. Oh no, the high post for Hidara. She loves it from the high post. Open three now. Drame. Hidara on the O boards. Back to Drame. Oh, huge block. Al Alfie gets it out of there. Yana El Alfie was averaging 25 points and 12 rebounds this tournament. It's probably gone up since the quarterfinal and semifinals, I'm honest with you. She had a 30 point game in one of them. Tries to spin, finds her teammate. Salman unfortunately travels again. Perhaps some of those gold match nerves getting to her a little bit. Understandable. It's a big game. Four minutes to play in this first quarter of our gold medal match. Mali and Egypt match up for the Avis. And look, Hadara's gone for the same step, but she ends up instead fires the teammate on the three. Looks like Khalifa's coming in. She's chewing up a lot of the clock here. Finds El Alfie from the top. She can hit that, but not just yet. Beautiful transition look from Mali, Hidara to Drame in the one-two punch, forcing a three-point play. I think 
we've got someone tuning in from Japan as well, possibly. If so, hello to people in Japan. Drame, now's the three-point play. Now Mali are getting back into their old habits. Apologies, the scoreboard says that the Mali is on one, but I'm pretty confident that the scores are 13 to 11 in favour of Mali now. Oh, great pressure. Beautiful teamwork from Mali. That backcourt pressure. Sanu finding the finish. And apologies, the match time says it's now nine minutes, which is incorrect. The match time is actually currently three minutes and 20 seconds. Sanu again in the transition. Time now called Egypt. They need to stop this Mali momentum before it gets out of hand. So at this time out, it's Mali 17, Egypt 11, with three minutes and three seconds to play. Already an exciting game, and I told you it was going to be good, this one. Looking at the stat line early. Number four from Mali Sanu with six points already. She is lightning quick, this girl. We've got number six, Drame, on three. And number ten, Hidara, on four points, two rebounds. Keep your eye on her. She is only getting started. Whereas for Egypt, it's number eight, El Alfie, as we predicted. Already six points and five rebounds. He's on track with some big numbers as well. Now, if you weren't with us previously, we had the previous third place game between Angola and Madagascar. Angola winning that game 53-37. Love having over 1,300 people of you watch streaming this from all around the world. American living in Mongolia. That sounds fantastic. Thank you for tuning in from wherever you are. Nice baseline drive, good find at the top, good extra. Mali just extending their pressure, being very disruptive on the defensive end. Ibrahim with the inbound, great look for Egypt. That gets the crowd on their feet. Number 55, Dahlia with the finish. Sissy from the high post, she spins. Beautiful finish. What did I tell you? You've got to keep your eye on her. She's got length. Oh, unforced error there by Egypt. Number 13, Ahmed coming into the game. Great defense from Egypt, trying to just double team that pick and roll. Oh, big rebound from Hidara. Explosive after that put back. So we've got two minutes to play in the first. Mali 19, Egypt 13. Hidara at the line. Makes the first. And the second. Here she comes. 
Having said that though, each team are coming into this game with a pretty average free throw percentage of 47 and 52, Egypt and Mali respectively. So let's hope that they can bring their A game from the free throw line for this gold medal match because every point is certainly going to count. Three point attempt, off the backboard. Udara of course getting a hand to it. It's now with Tinu on the right, on, whoa, nice defense from Egypt. on ball defense from Mali, making it really difficult for Egypt to find any kind of good scoring option. It's now here with Ahmed. It's inside to... Oh, good finish from Ahmed. Maya Ahmed to Yana Ahmed for the finish. Early three-point attempt. That's short. Great box out by D. By D we are. Egypt really taking up a lot of time putting the ball on the floor there, Khalifa. Finding the gap on the right. Oh, unlucky. Two on one situation. Oh, and you're left with Hidawa. That's got to go in. Nice look again, just couldn't find it this time. Interesting combination of players on the floor at the moment for Egypt. I can't see any of the standouts like El Alfi or Salman or Habiba to finish that quarter. And I feel like that wasn't Egypt's best performance in that period without some of their starters. So apologies, the scoreboard seems to be um, trying to work itself out a little bit, but we are at quarter time. The current score is Mali 23 to Egypt 15. Heading back to the box score. You can see number 10, Hidara, playing the full quarter for Mali with 8 points, 3 rebounds. El Alfi, only number 8 for Egypt, El Alfi, only playing 6 minutes for that quarter, but. She does have six points and five rebounds, so she's been very productive. And Yana L. Alfie still averaging 25 points, 11 rebounds now after the quarterfinal and the semi final games that we had over the last few days. 31.2 efficiency. Now something interesting about Yana El Alfi. Her dad, Ihab El Alfi, also played in the national team for Egypt. Yana El Alfi saying in a report recently that she always knew she wanted to play basketball for a young, at a young age. And I think her dad now coaches one of the senior national teams as well. So basketball definitely runs deep in the El, El Alfi household. Number 13, Maya Ahmed with the inbound to Yana Ahmed. Hidara, oh, takes the bump but couldn't get it. Oh, unlucky of the Euro step there from Maya Ahmed. It looks good. Manages to get it back. Two point, two point long, two point attempt and make for Leila Khalifa. The current score is correct, 23 to 17 in favor of Mali. Oh 
19, apologies. I was waiting for the live stats to update. Taking some time. Still stands 23-17. Long three-point attempt from Mali. That's way off. Shot clock violation is called and it's going to go back to Egypt's way. Stump inside. Travelling violation called. Pretty difficult catch for El Alfie to find that under the basket and make something of it. Having to force the travel. Egypt looking like they're playing in quite an extended 2-3 zone. Dara again drawing the foul. I'm not even sure where she came from in that play. All I saw in the end that she was up putting up a shot. But lots of Mali fans in the chat box still. I'm sure there's some Egyptian fans in there. If you're in the chat box, make some noise for me. the second just rings out great backdoor cut oh just couldn't get a big offensive rebound by uh, Layla Khalifa Ooh. Uh, keep an eye on her footwork down the three point line not a bad look right idea there for Egypt just a tough execution under the Mali pressure. So it should be Mali Ball's baseline. Still leading 24 to 17. Looks like we've got some substitutions coming in. CC taking their rest and Dabu coming on. Dabu wearing Kamite, the first name on the back of a jersey. Another turnover. Getting a little bit scrappy here in the second. Let's hope each team can kind of put a stop to some of these turnovers. Looks like Egypt's already got 12. Mali's only got four, which is a lot more uh, under control. But Egypt, uncharacteristic. 12 turnovers before half time. Three ball attempt from El Alfie. It's good. That's exactly what Egypt needed. Now, if you're the first, it's your first time watching this Egyptian team play, you need to know that El Alfie can hit them from anywhere. She's not just good from right under the basket. The girl can make a three as well. Nice pull up, Jay. Just swings out. Oh, and there's Hidara, but she can't get the put back. Another deadly offensive rebound. Egypt is playing around with the ball a lot. They've still got 10 seconds on the shot clock. Getting tied up in the double team, but find a way through. And two shots to come. Personal foul called on Hidara. Let's have a check to see how many she's on. Looks like just the one, so she's safe for now. And we've got a timeout here. Folks, 
Time out, Miley. Coming back out of this Marley timeout. We have Noah Ebrahim for two shots. Short on the first. And just rings out the second. Oh, nice cross and pitch there by Marley. And from the baseline this time, can't get it. A lot of action happening on the basket, chasing those rebounds. Foul called on Yana El Alfi. Nice rebound from Sissy. Three point attempt by uh, Kamitke. Oh, great steal by. Kimite Dambu finding Sanu on the fly again. I told you she was lightning quick. D Trans has got to be better than that to stop her. Marley staying in this extended 2 3 zone. Sometimes they switch it up to a 2 1 2, forcing a lot of outside shots for Egypt where they are not comfortable. This time it's Layla into El Alfi, finds a double team. She tries to step around, ends up having to wrestle with Sa. Jump ball is called and it's going to go Marley's way. Five minutes, 31 to go in this second quarter. Marley 26, Egypt 20. Sa finds it. Kimite on the weak side. Inside, back outside, Chang Chai Sissi at the elbow. Visanu with the step back three from the top. Way off. Here comes Egypt. One on one in transition. Great defense by Sanu. Oh, and I think Sars just committing the over the back foul there. No good. Kamike to Sa. Sissy can't get a handle on it, but she finds Sanu. Sanu's just controlling the tempo, setting it down. Kamite for three. That's off. Well left, and it's going to be Egypt's ball.
Great defense from Marley. No hands. Great steal from Sa. Using her length to the best of her ability. And she will reward herself with an easy two. Egypt, there we go, using the high post a little bit better, but Mali has got El Alpha's number. There's Sanu again on the left! Mali are here! Stamping their authority all over this game. Timeout call now with Mali with a 10 point lead, 30 to 20. Egypt have got to have a chat and figure out how they're going to be able to properly execute their half court offense against this very dominant zone defense from Mali. Using their length, here's one of Sardin's many transition layups. Saar, that's what we were talking about before, using that length, getting the steal, taking the bucket all the way. Great pass ahead there from the mid -case. Remember, like this game on YouTube and if you share it on your social media platforms, use the hashtag FIBAU18 Africa. We'd love to be able to connect with you on social media using the correct hashtags. And make sure you subscribe to FIBA's YouTube channel to keep up with all of the FIBA senior and junior tournaments this year. Much better option for Egypt going through that high post with the lad this time, Sun, who's looking to push. Three point attempt. Kamite couldn't make it. Here we go now, one on one again. Oh, Sanu with the steal! She has Kamite in backup. Can't make it. This time it's Egypt coming down. Ibrahim controlling the tempo. Back to Ibrahim for three-point attempt. Egypt need this. It's front of the rim. There's no rebounders in there for Egypt. Sarnok running Sissy on the weak side. Looks like Sarnok for three from the 45. Big rebound. And it's Ibrahim again. We'll step through. Oh. Tamara Ibrahim, number 33 for Egypt, just trying to do it all on her own. Trying to spark some kind of inspiration in this Egyptian team who haven't scored for some time. We've still got El Yana El Alfi on the bench. I did notice that uh, her right thumb was strapped up during the warm-up, so I'm not too sure if that has anything to do with her limited minutes, because you would expect the leading scorer of the tournament to be on for most of this gold medal match. So I'm not too sure if something else is going on there, perhaps injury-wise. So it's a good time for Salomon to step up. We look from the high post, you see in the high post. To Ore with a shot attempt, it's good. And the length and the read and the unison on that Mali defense with Sanu doing her thing. Mali magic right now. Eagles. Much better ball movement from Egypt. Again, no rebounders in there other than Salman trying to do it on her own against two Mali defenders. Sanu to the weak side to Saar, back to Sanu to the top. Sissi from the short corner, too easy.
minute and a half to play before half time. And we've got a foul call. Number six. Kanite Dambu. Blocks by Mali, another rebound. Simon pushing, finding Saar. But she was under pressure from Salmon. Egypt now secure it there, coming down three on two situation. But they don't capitalize on it and it's gonna be out of bounds. Mali ball. Egypt looking really out of sorts here without El Alfie on the floor. Salmon's trying to do her best, just can't find her feet yet in this game. Traveling violation. Egypt now with a possession with 48 seconds to go on the second. Opportunity for a two for one situation. Enough time for Egypt to have two shots if they allow Mali to have one. But it's stolen. That Mali defense is still working its magic. Egypt must have quite a few turnovers coming into the half. Oh, beautiful find in the corner and the finish. Sissy is doing it from everywhere on the court right now. She's really stepped up this gold medal match. And you've probably also noticed that number 10, the star of the Mali team, Hidara, hasn't seen much court time in the second part of this second quarter. Big skip pass. Here we go, Egypt mid this three and nails it. That gets the bench on their feet. Beautiful shot by number seven, Hana Abdullah. And that's going to be the half. Basketball fans out there, what if half of basketball has already been Mali just dominating? So in the meantime, We've got Mali on 38, Egypt 24. Egypt are going to have to go to the locker room and come up with a plan B. And hopefully I can try and get some intel as to why Yana El Alfi hasn't played as many minutes this quarter as expected. Now you can see her early in the game with that put back. And Sanu with one of her many very quick transition layups. Fancy footwork of Dara dominating. Well, enjoy your halftime, everyone. Have a stretch, have a drink, have a snack. We'll come back to you on the other side of the half. Don't go away anywhere. I'm sure we've got a great basketball game on our hand. This is the gold medal match for the FIBA Under 18 Women's African Championship. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back, everyone. We're just getting ready to start the second half for this gold medal match at the FIBA Under-18 Women's African Championship. My name is Jacinta. I'm commentating all the way from Australia with you. It's a pleasure to be with you for this gold medal match between Mali and Egypt. And Mali leaving 38 to 24 at the half. Still plenty of time to go for Egypt to chip away at this 14 point margin. Opening the game with the first possession. Hello to everyone in the live chat on our YouTube stream as well. Thank you for keeping us company. Salman from the top gets own rebound back, goes again and gets the roll this time. Thank you to all the Mali fans and the Egypt fans tuning in from their respective countries. Also, we also had some people from, I think, Japan as well. Let me know where you're tuning in from today. Three-point attempt. No good. Now, if you've just joined us, you may or may not know the history and the rivalry between Mali and Egypt. Mali winning the last seven out of eight games. However, Egypt are the defending championships for the under-18 African Women's Championship. Nice little crafty play there. Number seven, Hana Abdullah. Forcing the ball out of bounds. In Darby's hands. El Alki is back on the court now. She's underneath the bucket. She didn't see a lot of time in the first half or as much as I was expecting considering she's an MVP contender for the whole tournament. Not too sure if it was due to injury. She did have two fouls, so maybe it was foul trouble as well. And the coach not willing to risk El Alki getting her third in the second half. In the second quarter, apologies. Here come Egypt. They're off to the races on the transition. Abdullah just couldn't get it to go, but Habiba is there for the offensive rebound. Finding El Alfie with the trail cut, and that is more like it for Egypt. Oh, greatest steal turn from Hana. Almost a chance for another transition basket. We've got some, someone tuning in from India as well. Hello there from India. Three pointer. That's good from the almost from the corner. Good enough. Drame drains it. Mali staying in their 2 1 2 zone, making sure that El Alfi in the high post is always guarded. Hidara doing a good job on Salman underneath. Kamite, Dabu, attempting to go and help with that double team, but ends up, drawing, ends up giving a foul. Salman at the line for two. And she makes both. Sanu throwing the foul against Hana. Nice skip pass, finding Kamite, and this time she hits it. Beautiful pass on the flare cut. El Alfie with a nice reply. You definitely see her playing for the senior women's national team one day for Egypt. This time it's short for Mali. Yeah. 
Marley pushing their zone all the way out past the three-point line. Great save, but it ends up being a turnover. Here comes Sanu. Great little dish to Drame. Marley are just playing with such synchronicity. Making them unstoppable at this point in time. Baseline drive. Weak side tip. Good extra. Abdullah. She pass fakes and goes to three herself. Nice step from, oh, good kick out again. But it's short. Point attempt. Oh, way off. El Alfie found herself underneath in a Mali sandwich. Earns herself two shots. Oh, gets the roll. Oh, unlucky on the second. Deficit is still 13. Good look inside to Sissy. She's good from the short corner, but not this time. It's from the top of the key. It's long. Great boards by Marley. Unlucky on that attempt, Tamara. Hana is going to be called for the on-ball foul again. She's on two fouls. Seven seconds on the shot clock for Mali. Deep three from Kamite. A little bit ambitious, I think, but she had to get a shot up anyway. Really great offensive rebounds. Second option there for Hidara. Just where she likes it, under the basket. She's showing some great footwork between Hidara and El Alfie. Very good skill set under the basket shown thus far, especially with their footwork. Super shooting from the free throw line. Marley now 48, Egypt 33. Lead out to 15. Five minutes to play in this third quarter. Great look into El Alfie, but she's double teamed. Really nice read there by Drame. Picking off with the steal. She's in the low block. Goes for the on-ball screen instead. Kimite really fancies herself from the three-point line. Laufey in the high post. And back in the high post again. Great O boys. This is a great contest between El Alfie and Hidara. And this time El Alfie comes up with the goods. Great hustle by the Egyptian team. We 
and Yana, number 15, coming onto the floor. Oh, very slick move under the basket. Kimite Dabu. Kick out. Radwan. Trying to get the mid range. Couldn't get it to go. Coughs it up. Great team transition. Oh, a little bit risky in that one for Mali. Still a 15 point deficit. We serve it two minutes to play in the third. The score has changed now. The score is still, yep, there we go. Still, it's still 50 to 35, despite it showing 39 before. Oh, 52 now. Sissy on the transition. Very quickly turning into almost a 20-point ball game. I'm sure this is not how Egypt thought it was going to go. Salman, great footwork underneath and rewards itself. Really tough shot. Egypt is now 37. 52-37 is the score. We're aware that the scoreboard on screen is a little bit glitchy with the score and the times. So sometimes the best way to keep track of that is our live stats from the FIBA website. So the score is actually a technical difficulty with the graphics. It's not someone actually playing with the scoreboard. All of the officials for, all, oh, for FIBA events are hired professionals. So just bear with us while we work out this glitchy scoreboard. So if you head in this timeout, maybe it's a good idea if you head to the official tournament page, fever.basketball slash Africa slash U18 women slash 2022. The score as it stands at this timeout is 52 Mali Egypt 37 with two minutes 33 to play in the third quarter. Now, despite the score and the uh, deficit in score, so far this has been the closest quarter of the game with Mali 14 points and Egypt 13. The downfall for Egypt was the last quarter, the second quarter that they lost nine points to 15. Beautiful shooting from the free throw line. Egypt really desperate for a score now. Oh, I think there's a traveling violation. 
think uh, I think that was either Maya or Yana Ahmed just stepping with the right foot first, then continuing with the dribble with the left. Unfortunately, it's a travel. Egypt staying in their zone as well. Ambitious shot there from Kamite. Sanu on the drive and she draws the foul. The current score in this game is 54 Mali, Egypt 37. Please refer to the FIBA live stat, the live stats on the official FIBA website. Doing her best to try and get something happening, but she's met with a strong Mali defense. Coming out with a slight limp. Minute and a half to play in the third. 55 Mali, 37 Egypt. Oh, great shot fake. Put it up before the shot clock expires. Oh, beautiful rebound by Salman. Oof. Kite taking quite a heavy hit there after that defensive rebound, but finds himself under the basket. Kitara with the putback. Her bread and butter. lot better today Higara from the free throw line. She's ready for this gold medal match that's for sure. Really nice second line of rotation in the zone there Higara able to swat away that pass attempt. Nice to look down low for, for Ore but she just gets a little bit tangled up there's no, not to worry, Hidara's there to clean up the mess. And another turnover, here comes Mali. Controlling the tempo now. Drame wants to drain another three off the rim. Hidara's there. How she got that O board, I can't tell you, but Sanu will have a go. She'll make it splash instead. This Mali team is fierce and focused with the last 10 seconds to go in the third quarter. A lot of unchar uncharacteristic turnovers from Egypt. And again, we're seeing El Alfie not on the floor. And that is the third quarter, folks. Mali leading 63 to 37. Well, I don't know about you, but I did not see this is the game going this way at all. Earlier we were saying that this third quarter was Egypt's best scoring quarter, oh next to the first, but we were saying it was a lot closer. At one stage the scoring was 14 to 13. Still in Mali's favour. Going this way. 
Uh, yes, hello to our friend back in the chat, Mizrahi. I do have a podcast. Our podcast is called Shooting the Breeze. It's a podcast that focuses on Australian women's basketball, but we do cover uh, other women's basketball leagues around the world. We have touched on the New Zealand and the UK. So go and check it out in or wherever you get your podcast from. It's called Shooting the Breeze. If you're a big fan of women's basketball, highly recommend our podcast called Shooting the Breeze. Thank you for asking. Ms. Rahi has been excellent having your company over these games in our live chat on YouTube. So as I was saying before the break, uncharacteristic amount of turnovers for Egypt. 27 turnovers this game. And five of them actually coming from star player Yana El Alfi. So this is a quite a different game that Egypt, uh, Egypt are used to playing. Perhaps not used to the added pressure of this long, lean, intense Mali defense. Beautiful! Thread of the needle! Sanu to Hidara! Oh, class act! Gosh, these two, wow. They're two, definitely two plays you need to watch in the future. Salmon with the, can't get the roll to go. Oh, nice little dump inside for Hidara again. This time coming from Taore with the dump, but she couldn't get the put back. Wow, great pass nonetheless. Some calls in the chat box for Hidara for MVP. Oh, I think he could be right. Especially if Mali get this win, Hidara is in a prime position for MVP of this tournament. It's all happening on the floor. Sanu with her quick hands and feet that comes up together. She hesitates. She's going to pull it back, waiting for a trail. No good options come, but her friend Hidara. Driving dish. That's well short. Much needed bucket for Egypt with El Alfie on cue. She has 16 points and 11 rebounds. So she's, oh, 18 points now. That was an 18th point. Apologies. So she's clocked up the double double. Hidara has 18 and 9. So she's on track for a double double. Taore putting in some good minutes as well in this gold medal match. Oh, really nice touch under the basket by Salmon. Hopefully that will boost her confidence for the rest of this quarter. Also got some call in the live chat for Sanu for MVP. She can perhaps get MVP of this match. I'm not sure if she's in contention for MVP for the tournament, but she, she was probably a good contender for All-Star 5 of the tournament. I think after this there will be an opening ceremony, so uh, closing ceremony, so we'll be able to find out. Good patience from Marley. Settling for the high pick and roll. Step, pick, step back three. Kamite really fancies herself as a three point shooter. Oh, and a great corner three for Egypt. 
number one, Yana El Shami, boosting some energy back into a defeated looking Egyptian team. So with that timeout, ah, oh, beautiful fake Taori. Timeout Mali here. They're leading 67 to Egypt 44 with six minutes 51 to play in the fourth of this gold medal match. Mali with the inbound now out of this timeout. Sanu goes close to close, but she's blocked. But it went out of bounds, so it's going to go back to Mali. Huge block, though, from El Alfie. there from Egypt. El Alfi racking up another rebound. It'd be about great in about oh, beautiful pass inside for Salman. Number five, Mariam Habiba. For Egypt has got a very nice touch on her passes, whether it's a full length pass and transition or into a post catch. Sissy growing with confidence as the game continues and as the tournament continues, it's been great to see her game develop over the last few days. Still from Mali. Easy open layup for Drame. Oh, nice skip. Another nice skip there. Unlucky, You're trying to look inside for their post plays, but it's just a little bit too ambitious. Looks like we've got Basketball Marley chiming into the MVP conversation, saying Sanu is the game MVP, but Hidaru is the tournament MVP. And I have to agree. Sissy from the top nails it. She is putting up some numbers for this team tonight. 12.6 rebounds. Really showing her potential this tournament. Exciting stuff. Here comes Hidara. Can she dunk it? Nah, she's going to give it to her good friend Sanu. Wow, those two together are powerful. Really great relationship between Sano and Hidara, playing relationship. Their chemistry is awesome. They've always got each other's support on the transition. And even in the half court, Sano just gives Hidara some really, really great catches where Hidara works best. Here's this is open. Jump shot from the top of the key. And 
and that hair in motion, Dara. Four minutes 24 to play, we've got a timeout. Mali 75, Egypt 46. There is no way that I thought that this game was going to have this result. From Sano. Oh, Hidara steals it instead. These two in sync. Another left hand layup. Mali literally and metaphorically just running away with it now. Easy 31 point buffer with four minutes to play in this gold medal match. Oh, really nice three. Courtesy of number 32, Ebrahim. With the bump. Oh, Hidara off the glass. Too easy. Bump and all. And Salomon finds a nice easy two as well. I know it says we've got 30 seconds left in this game, folks, but that is incorrect. And obviously, Marley's not on 19 points, and Egypt's not on 91. So, just to recap the score on the time, Marley's on 79, and Egypt's on 51, with three minutes to play in the fourth quarter. So, it is, in fact, incorrect score that is being displayed. Definitely agree with the comments in our live chat on YouTube. Mali have a very bright future ahead of them. Really hoping that some of them can flourish and play in their senior national team and even play professionally. Would love to see some of them play professionally in Australia if they'd like to come. Play some WNBL for us. So the real, the score, I'm, so, I'm really sorry everyone, the score on the screen is incorrect. The score is 79 Mali, Egypt 51. Sanu for three. Ah, oh, not this time. The athleticism. Oh, lovely pump fake from Kamite Dabu. Long three ball attempt. Oh, so long that it hit Hadara's feet. Oh, another big shot. This time again. Kamite Dabu, she loves the three ball. She's in her element this game. She's hit two from ten, but... Should take what she can get. Oh, and the reply. 32 for Egypt. Ebrahim. She's hit back-to-back -back threes as well now for herself. Two from three from the three-point line. That percentage is more like it. Scoreboard has gone from our screen. So let me give you an update. It's 84, Mali, 54, Egypt with a minute 28 to play in the fourth of this gold medal match. There we go, that's more like it. That scoreboard looks excellent to me. Marley with the 30 point lead, looking very good despite some of the comments in the live chat.
Could do a Hail Mary there. Oh, managed to get it back. Great hustle. On the floor again. Neither team really letting up. And apologies, our score has left the screen again. So just as a recap, the score is Mali 84, Egypt 54 with a minute to play. But we've got a timeout, folks. And this is the last minute of the gold medal match of the FIBA Women's Under-18 African Championships. Here we go, folks. Last minute and seven seconds of this gold medal match between Mali and Egypt. Let's try and keep the chat, live chat and the YouTube channel as positive and focused on our teams as possible. Let's enjoy this moment as Mali are poised to win their, I think their sixth African Championship title at the Under-18 Women's Tournament. Oh, nice. Oh, that, that looks good, but it didn't quite make the mark. And the score is the score is incorrect. I do apologize. It's 84-54. 40 seconds to play. This will make it 86. Oh, no, no, still 84. So the score, 35, 29, sorry, 29 seconds to play in this game. The score is 84 to 54 to Mali. Let's try and keep these positives in the live chat, these comments in the live chat positive to see out this gold medal match for what's been an excellent tournament. And Kone, she gets on the stat sheet. Taking Mali up to 86 to 54. Radwan tries her hand at a floater. Hidara is there with a big rebound. She just wants to get it out of there. Run out this clock. Get this gold medal for Mali. Three ball to end, and it's no good, but Mali. Hidara <laughs> kissing the ground <laughs> with the, the teammates. An absolute humble. Absolutely humble display in this excellent, significant win over Egypt. My word, I would not have predicted a 32-point win in the grand final over Egypt. So final score, Mali 86, Egypt 54. Absolutely outstanding execution of play by Mali. Another gold African Championship gold medal to take home. So thank you for our friend in the live chat, Quirty. Mali has seven gold medals and two silver, and this gold will be their eighth. Wow. Apologies. I actually shortchanged them. Three gold medals. An outstanding effort from Mali. Hoping that I did all the fans in the live chat and all the fans at home proud. I'm sure they did. They put on an exceptional display of execution both ends of the floor. Let's have a look at some final stats before we wrap, out, wrap, wrap this up, folks. So, our number 10, Hidara, MVP contender for the, for the tournament. 22 points, 12 rebounds, and 5 steals in a gold medal match. Number 12, Mama Sissi, having herself a game as well. 14 points and 7 rebounds and 2 steals. Kamite Elizabeth Dabu, 14 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists, 5 steals. Bin 
to Drame, 10 points, 5 assists, 5 steals. And the crowd favourite, Sanu, 18 points, 4 assists, 3 steals. She is lightning quick. What an absolute stellar stat sheet from the Mali team when we head over to Egypt. Yana Salman ended up with 14 points, 8 rebounds. Yana El Alfi only played 24 minutes this game. I was hoping that she would play at least 30 or pushing 40. But she ended up with 19 points and 12 rebounds. Still an excellent effort in the 24 minutes of time. She also had two big blocks. So the, the two uh, tallest, tallest players, the inside game that Egypt relied on so heavily this tournament in Salwan and El Alfi came up with the, the best that they possibly could for this Egyptian team. But Mali, wow, just way too good. Their 2 1 2 and 2 3 extended zone is just so well executed and they look excellent when they're running in transition after a defensive stop. They were just, it was just a formula that you couldn't break. Lots of proud fans in the live chat from Mali saying, We're proud of you. Congratulations on the gold, Mali. Bravo. And remember, like, and, like this video, share it to your social media with the hashtag FeverU18Africa. And also go and check out Next Gen Hoops, the official Fever outlet for all the up and coming basketball stars of the future, like Yana El Alfi, like Yana Salman. Like Hidara, like Sanu, like Dumbo, Dumbe. And make sure you subscribe to the FIBA YouTube channel. Click the notifications and all the upcoming games from the tournaments around the world to make sure you don't miss a beat. Thanks to everyone in the live chat. Thanks for keeping me company. My name's Jacinta. I have been commentating from Australia over the last few days for these tournament sport finals games. And it is 2.08 a.m. where I am. <laughs> so I do really appreciate you guys keeping me company in the live chat. It definitely makes it a lot more fun. If you like to check out our podcast, it's called Shooting the Breeze. It's a podcast focused on primarily Australian women's basketball, but we do cover women's basketball from around the world. You can also find me on Twitter and on Instagram. If you like, I can put my social media handles in the live chat to make it easier for you to find me. But listen, if you don't want to give me a follow, that's totally fine too. I've told, I've been told by people in the live chat before no one wants to follow it. You know what, I can leave with that. But for now, thank you again to FIBA for putting on an excellent tournament in Africa. Thank you for the spork to live streaming this YouTube for FIBA to make sure that this African content is broadcast around the world. Thank you for the fans for tuning in and making it all worthwhile. Great to have you with us. And keep your eye on these talents from Africa because I'm sure a lot of these names are going to be going far. But from me, thanks again to everyone. I'm going to be signing off and congratulations to Mali for their gold medal and to Egypt for their silver. And remember, Mali and Egypt have now qualified for the Under-19 World Cup in Spain in 2023. So to keep up to date with that, make sure you follow FIBA and Next Gen Hoops on all your social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Subscribe to the FIBA YouTube channel. Turn on those notifications for all of those upcoming games and tournaments because we will be seeing this talent again next year in the Under-19 World Cup in Spain. But for now, thank you, everyone. I'll be signing off.